this is why I'm doing this these quests because it is a really effective way of getting just absolutely geared up. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Big Ton Plays EverQuest. I'm over on the box server working on the Hero's Journey quest. Making a name for yourself. I am completed the No Skin Off Your Back, What a Croc, Rings and Things, A Dark Heart, and I've already turned in the Web of Fears. I've completed those. Now I'm doing the uh, final turn-ins here. So I already turned it in on Manello. So now we're going to go ahead and turn in the Smithy Ore. We're going to turn in the little bits. All right. He, give, he gives us a ring, it looks like. Not bad. Better than the, the ring we're wearing. Which is no ring, so obviously it's better. So, got a ring. Alright, we also need to turn in the... The eight crocodile hides, which is right here. Gives us a... 10% melee haste potion. And he wants the pristine bear hides, which are right here. Go ahead and give him those. It gives us a chest. Believe it or not, we can wear. A little weird. Looks like a chain tunic. But you can wear it is better than the you know 2 AC that we had we got you know 10 AC and some other stats which is pretty good the graphics a little weird but better than it was all right go ahead and put him on follow Go ahead and do the same turn-ins for him. So we gotta turn in the crocodile hides. Get our melee haste potion. Wants the bits. And the ores, which five, yeah, five. Oh yeah, if you didn't know to pick up these items, so like here's the default way, you know, you click on it, then you click accept, click on it, adjust how many you want, you know, if you want one. If you didn't know, you can press and hold shift to pick the whole thing up, or you can press and hold sh control to pick up one. So if you want to pick up, you know, parts of stacks or whatever, that's how you would do it. Same, uh, the same idea works when you're uh, buying and selling as well. If you want to sell an entire stack or buy an entire stack, you hold down shift when you click the buy button. And if you want to just buy one, you would hold down the control. It is our ring. And then the final one is the 10... Bear hides, which right there. Get us our tunic. Destroy that. Follow. So now we gotta go to. The Bunder oh, he's upstairs on the third floor. Okay, so I'll be right back. 
And I'm back. So this guy wants to turn in these this pouch to him, which is what I had to kill that barbarian that was downstairs. All right. So this is the reason I wanted to do the hero's journey quest. So I'll go ahead and turn these into everybody. So the achievement sometimes gives you more than one reward. So as you can see here, I'm going to get an earring for both ears as well as rings for both fingers. All of the options for this reward include, and it's right here. It looks like I forgot to... Oh, wow. So I get a like a one hand blunt weapon. Really cool. Got intelligence, stamina, wisdom, magic resist. Pretty good. Go ahead and All right, where'd they all go? Okay, here's one. The ring we just got, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure is a lot better. Yeah, see? This is why I'm doing this these quests, because it is a really effective way of getting just absolutely geared up. Gave me so much loot, I don't even know where it all went. Okay, it looks like it equipped most of it. So there's the two rings, the two earrings, and the one hand blunt. Okay. Earring, earring, the ring, and the one hand blunt. So we need to accept that. Then we need to accept those. You have to check the stuff because sometimes this has right clickies in it. Probably not at this level, but at the higher level ones, you get uh, you'll get clickies in the earrings and rings and stuff. But yeah, these all have effects and they're huge stats. Recommended level twenty items. But yeah, that was. The achievement, making a name for yourself. Now I'm going to work on becoming a hero, which will result in, looks like a pair of chain, well, a pair of pants for each of my guys, which have incredible stats. I'm going to gather up food for thought, soul patriot patrol, reclaim the farm, locked, locked up locket, things go bump in the night, the catacombs. So this is one of those quests I was talking about where it'll have a prerequisite. So I'm pretty sure that I'll have to complete the catacombs before I can get the Ogre Spirit one. But 
it might just be coincidental. So we'll see. I think this might be those ogre skeletons that are out there. So if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Check the description to follow me on social media. You can also find a way to support my channel on there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.